Good morning. Welcome to our devotional time this morning in the book of Luke. We're at chapter 1, verses 26 through 33. Let's read it. Now, in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one, the Lord is with you, blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and considered what manner of greeting this was. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great, and will be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. This has to be the most amazing thing that could ever be said to a human being. The angel comes and says to Mary, your child will be the Messiah. By the way, and you know, she's not fully married yet, she's, she's betrothed, which is more or less like being married, but yeah, you're going to have a baby and he's going to be the Messiah. How are you today? So this would be really a shocking and astonishing piece of news to receive. And look at her response. She's a little bit concerned about this. She's thinking about this. She's going to try to think about what the ramifications are. Things in Israel weren't really going quite that well those days. And so this is a pretty giant piece of news to receive. You're going to conceive in your womb. You know, you're going to give birth to a biological male child, and he is going to, there'll be no end to his kingdom. He is going to be the Messiah. Now, we all think, well, nothing big would ever happen to me. And perhaps that's how Mary felt as well. Well, nothing big would ever, ever happen to me. I'm just, I'm just a common person. God often confounds the strong by working through the, the less strong. And so he picks this woman, this, this very young woman, very limited life experience. Think about the amazing, the, the incomprehensible risk that God takes. He's going to put his, his, himself into the keeping of this, this lowly human person. Uh, you know, it might be that there was somebody more amazed than Mary that day. It might have been that, that Lucifer, Satan, and all the fallen angels, just a human baby, just as human as Mary is. We don't think of God as intervening in our world. We think, well, uh, you know, all things continue as they were from the beginning until now, and, and everything just is taking a long time. There's long ages, but God does intervene, and this is the most amazing intervention in all of human history, and he is going to send Jesus. Jesus is going to be a little, little helpless little infant. He's going to grow up and be the Messiah. He's going to die for us on the cross and be the Savior of all humankind who's just willing to receive his selfless, his unselfish, other-serving gift. And Mary is going to shape, in some respect, shape the life and the character in the very earliest years of this tiny, helpless child. And yet this tiny, helpless child is God. Praise the Lord. Let's, let's pray. Father in heaven, Mary receives the most amazing news any human being can receive. She will be the mother of the Messiah. Uh, Lord, help us to be ready for your amazing interventions in the world, in our lives. So, Lord, I know you'll give her all the help she needs to be such a mother to such a one. Uh, amazing things, Lord. Thank you for your, not only the, the small ways, but the amazing, the, the immeasurable interventions such as this that happen to save us damaged humans. Oh, thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. May God bless you today, thinking about the amazing thing that God has done to send Jesus on the mission to save you and I. God bless you.